not even that. It's middle of summer. And about 80 million degrees. Well, at least I'm not hot. Hi, darling. Hello. It's uh, Saturday afternoon. Yeah. Well, we're filming this, but it's got on the Friday. Mm -hmm. It's baking hot. There's about to be a football match out there um, because the local team is playing some other team in the Cornish whatever league. Right. So we're about to get hit by loud speakers. Normally we get the aeroplanes flying over and now we get nice speakers. So we're going to move quickly today. Welcome to Cocktail Corner everybody. Hope you're all well. Hope you're all enjoying the sunshine. If it's still sunny, it may not be by now. Um, so today we are doing a cocktail that I've never seen before and um, you found it in this month's it's actually August. last month's Same Sainsbury's magazine. magazine. Yeah. See this how organised we are? Look, we've got all the recipes we want to do on the uh, book. Yeah? Yeah. Page so, 43. Page, which one, Dove? 43. I've got my glass stump. Right, okay, so we are going to do something called a Floradora cocktail. Is that not weird? A Floradora cocktail. So I'm going to quickly say what it was. It was invented in the early 1900s from the Broadway musical comedy um, because girls on the chorus line drank it. Cool. Okay, so handful of ice cubes in your cocktail. I'm gonna have to uh, read it off because I know nothing about the cocktail. It's basically a gin base. So we're gonna use the Isles of City really whamming powerful gin. Oh, yes, yeah. It's probably what we got at the moment. So you need 60 mils of gin. gin. This is for, well. It serves two. It serves two, but remember, if remember rightly, we're using our bo our booby glasses, and they're actually they're big. up for two. Sixty okay. mils of gin in. Sixty mils of gin. Thirty mils of Chambord or, or raspberry other liqueur. Raspberry liqueur. Well, if there's other ones around, you can all. If you also want to take some of the alcohol out, you can also use a framboise um, syrup. Raspberry syrup. I nearly said liqueur again, but that'd be the same thing. In that goes. Okay. Um, to that, you squeeze in the juice of one lime. You've already pre-squeezed, well done. I do like a pre-squeezed. In it goes. So far, so good. Then you tip the top on, shake it well, and combine. Would you like me to shake? You shake. I thought you might. I'm gonna mention this when we do a Tom Collins in a couple of weeks time on the channel. Ideally, you're not supposed to shake gin. Yeah. Okay. Well, it dilutes it, but it also breaks up the botanicals. So they say. But you are. are. So only shake it up until you chilled it down and boil that down cold. Decant. If you get the top off, yep. Well done. Pour it into there. Now it does say fill two glasses, but hey, that's not really happening. Still quite a lot though, yeah. Um, top up with ginger ale. There's going to be a lot of topping, is there? No, but well, that that's the problem with the size of the glass. Maybe pour a little bit out if you want. Mm, that's fine. Turns out kind of dilute you want. You're not a massive ginger ale fan. You can dilute this as much as you like, really. Okay, lovely. And pick a few nice plump raspberries and pop them on. Not the ones with the flowers already on. Not the ones with the flower on. Well, quite nice. I quite like that. We're just going to sip those in. They'll sink probably anyway. I'm going to stick an ice cube or two in it. Are you going to get that in, are you? Yeah. Oh, don't think you're going to get another one in, love. I do. Oh, you have little face. I know, just pick it up, yeah. So we're going to take a photograph of this and then we're going to come back and give it a taste. Nice and quick one today. You're moving the bin back, love. It's so tricky when you're actually using just a small little kitchen. You've got to do photographs. What's going to be behind them? We don't want a bin. We don't want a bin. So, a bit of taste, Danny. So it could be as strong or as lacking of ginger ale. Yeah, I thought you'd do that. No, no class. No class, honestly. What do you think? Rather nice. Well, well that's probably why you said you wanted to try this one. I was going to get you to actually um, do the talk about it, but you said it's only me who does that bit, and I just explained. Good? you can get all the different bits of it which is really strange okay so it's like, a fairly complex thing but you can yeah, taste all you, the different you've got, you can definitely taste the gin okay but it's not whamming bearing in mind that our gin is really strong that is a really strong gin yeah um you can definitely pick up the raspberry from the chambord okay good and the lime 
a yeah, real good because of the sharpness. Yeah, but I can't pick up the ginger, which is a good thing. Well, ginger ale isn't as strong as ginger beer, and it does say ginger ale, so I suppose it's more about Try. ginger ale is more about um, making it a long drink. I, I like guess. the colour as well. It's pretty colour. I'm not very stable on one, one, two fingers like this. Oh yeah, blimey. It's taste bud tantalising. It is. It comes out like a taste you don't expect, and I don't, mm. I can't even describe that taste. Nice though. It's, it is kind of sharp and zingy. Yeah. But it's kind of a combination of everything. Mm. I, I am getting a bit of a back of the ginger. That's really nice. If you look. Do you know what? This is a perfect today cocktail. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's not too sweet, so no. like it's not going to make wasps and stuff come around you. <laughs> and it's not going to be like, because I think with something like a margarita or something along those lines, because they're so sweet, you could drink them and drink them and drink them and not really realise that you're like... You think a margarita is sweet, do you? Sure, we did a margarita. I'm more about a daiquiri. I'm more about a daiquiri. I'm more about a daiquiri. I apologise. Look, I, I describe them, you drink them. All right? But this... It's cold, it's not too sweet, it's quite zingy, it's like good, you said. It? It's very first quenching. Yeah, tantalises your taste buds, yeah. that's what I'd say. Well, they did kind of say that was, that was, I guess, why it was the cocktail of the month for um, August. Yeah. Give it a try, Although honestly. August was pants. So August different. was pants, so now it's cocktail of the month on here for September. Yeah. Give it a try. Floradora. Floradora, any gin. Preferably Chambord, because basically we can get in this country for a raspberry liqueur. Yeah. Um, we're um, did using you things say up. that the gin, they recommended Hendrix gin? Yeah, we've got a couple that got a Hendrix gin. Um, Hendrix do have a Florador on their rest, on their recipes on their website. Yeah. Recipes on their website, not You're recipes the on their website. You only had a swig. I know. Uh, I'm starting to get your lisp. Okay. Lisp? Yes, she does. How very dare you? Yes, she does. When do I lisp? when she's had a couple of Floradoras. Right, <laughs> so we're going. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Please subscribe, please hit the notification bell, do all those things. Come and join me on Big Ollie Golf, Kelly and I on Big Ollie World. Um, lots more adventures and things happening very soon. Lots more changes going on on some of the stuff. Yeah, doing. we got a whole year of excitement ahead of we us. Have. And next time, can we push that camera back a bit so I can stand up properly without actually cutting the top of my head off? Well, you did it, not me. I know. It's fine. Tell us if you like a Floradora. I like yeah. the name as well. Well, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Come get me a Floradora. A Floradora. Yeah. Bye, everybody. See you soon. Oh, by the way, not oh. to be confused with Flora the Explorer. I was because... waiting for Dora. No. Who? Flora. Who? Hold on. Who? Do you say Flora the Explorer? Flora the. No, Dora. No, Dora. Dora, Dora the Explorer. Dora the Explorer. That... Not Flora. Uh, this gin is quite strong. No, it's not that. It's just. It is quite it's been strong. a long time since I've watched Dora the Explorer. Thank goodness. Bye, everybody. Bye.